Welcome back to Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions Academy. Encourage us more to share our video anywhere you see it and subscribe. If you have not subscribed before, kindly press your subscribe button. At this point, we have a lot of videos for you to play around with. We have over over uh, 400 videos on our channel it means you can come here and learn any topic of your choice mathematics physics and uh, chemistry just in case you want to reach us you are free to comment below you know you, know, you see a comment bar you comment on it or you make use of this line you can do three things with this line you can call us you can WhatsApp us and also Telegram is allowed. Either of the three, you are good to go. Don't please do not flash us. We have a lot of things to give you. As far as uh, further solution is concerned, you can learn and relearn on this uh, channel. On this channel, I'll be talking about inverse of two by two metrics, which is I have to be. I'm supposed to be in. You know, have it in a one video, but uh, because of time, I have to split it into two. Inverse of two by two metrics. It means I will be talking about only two by two square metrics here, which is uh, that is very going to be that what I will be talking about. The outline of this video, I will talking about inverse of two by two metrics, and the second one will be invert invert invert. I mean, invert method of solving equation invert method of solving or you can call it invert method of solving simultaneous equation by the end of this video you will understand these two these two uh, outlines now this what i mean by this is when you have it in form of simultaneous equation equals to seven three x minus one uh, y equals to eight now how do i use this to solve simultaneous equation that is what i'm trying to refer to by the end of this it should be you understand everything now let's start this video now when we talk about inverse method make sure you watch our previous video because i've told you how to i, I have done video on um adjoint adjoint of metrics adjoint of metrics now but this time around we want to apply it to what to inverse now inverse inverse of matrix which can be m is denoted denoted by m inverse is denoted by m inverse when i'm talking about m inverse it means i'm talking about inverse of matrix we all know what is called inverse in our algebra which is you should know that now but if i have inverse of a given matrix will be equals to what the determinant of the particular matrix multiplied by what adjoint adjoint of that matrix that is how to find the inverse of a given matrix it means determinant of a given matrix multiplied by what uh, adjoint of a matrix now i've told you that adjoint of a matrix for instance if my matrix equals to a b c d now my adjoint adjoint of m will be equals to d a minus c minus b make sure you be on our next on, on our last video which i've explained that very well and determinant determinant the determinant of this particular matrix it will be a d minus b c please take note of that it means my m inverse my m inverse will be equals to one divided by a d minus b c um into bracket of what d a minus c minus b that is what i mean by inverse of a given matrix now i can use this to solve any given problem you know any problem you are given if this is allowed you are good to go you are good to go and don't forget that 
if I have m multiplied by m inverse equals to identity. Take note of that. If I multiply this by this together, you know, we have done multiplication of inverse, it will give me identity. And we all know what is identity uh, inverse. I, I see um, matrix is always equals to 1, 0, 0, 1. Take note of that. When I multiply these two together, it will give me identity. Now, let me try to show one or two examples before I move on to method of solving it as an application of it, which is uh, inverse. We call it inversion method. Inversion method. Okay, look at this particular problem. Somebody has us to find, given that, given that A equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, and B equals to minus 3, 2, 1, 4. Now, you are asked to find, find 1, Inverse of A, uh, 2, inverse of B, 3, B, A, all inverse. Now, look at this particular problem. Somebody asked us to do this, and uh, if this can be a Y question or any question given from anywhere. Now, how do I go, how do I solve it? Solution to this problem is a very simple one, very, very simple. What you just need to know Try to understand the logic behind inverse of a given matrix. Now, I've told you that inverse of A will be equal to what? 1 all over determinant of A multiplied by what? Adjoint of A. That is what you need. Now, my adjoint of A will be equal to um, what is my A? 4, 1, minus 3, minus 2. That is my adjoint of A. Now, determinant of A, determinant of A will be equals to 1 multiplied by 4 minus 2 multiplied by 3, which it will be 4 minus 6, which is equals to minus 2. Now, it means my A inverse will be equals to 1 divided by what? Determinant 1 over 2, bracket of uh, 4, 1, minus 3, minus 2, which I can also call it what? Minus 2, 1, 3 all over 2, yes, 3 all over 2, and um, minus 1 all over 2. That is my, my A inverse. It means my A inverse is that. Now, if I should look for my B inverse, my B inverse, which is number 2, my B inverse the same way, which is 1, all over what? Determinant of B. Or multiplied by what? Adjoint. Adjoint of B. That is my determinant of, I uh, mean, inverse of B. Now, how do I go for this? It means I will do the same way. My adjoint of B will be equals to the same way. It will be 4 minus 3 and minus 1 minus 2. I've explained that in our previous video, which make sure you understand. I mean, you, you view that for better understanding. But that is what I've told you is that once it's 2 by 2, this one will change position and attach of minus. This is principal diagonal. This is the other diagonal. Now, it means you change the diagonal and also attach to the other minus to the other one. Now, it means the determinant of B will be equal to um, minus 12 minus 2, which is equal to minus 14. Now, that is minus 14. It means my B inverse will be equals to my b inverse it will be equals to um 1 all over minus 14 bracket of 4 minus 3 1 and minus 2 that is my answer that is my answer now the third one now i have to show you some things at this point i have to show you at this i mean some things at this point now if somebody asks us to find uh I need this, 
I need this and I need this. Sorry, I need this for my third answer, which is this is my inverse. Now, if somebody has me to find something like this is my A inverse and that is my B inverse. Now, somebody asks me to find B A inverse. Please, position is very, very important because at this point, we are talking about B multiplied by A. Now, and it will not give you the same thing as, it's not the same thing as A multiplied by B. They are not the same thing because this is a, 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 a matrix form. It means you can't change the position. Now, this also, note, note, that, that um, um, B A inverse is also the same thing as what? B inverse A inverse. Take note of that. Very, very important. Very, very important. Okay, by doing this, I can now have on, okay. Now, don't forget, this is a very good property that you need to understand very well, which is that. It means I can say that what? My B A or inverse can be equals to B inverse A inverse. Now, it means I can say that what? Um, minus 2, 3 all over 2, 1, minus 1 all over 2, bracket of, um, which also, this one will give me, um, now, this one will give me 2 all over, B inverse, sorry, let me quickly confuse this one, this one will give me uh, 2 all over 7, and uh, it will be 1 all over 7, 1 all over 7, um, this one will be having minus, and also I'll be having minus 1 all over 14, and here will be uh, uh, 3 all over 14. Take note of that. I'm just, it means I can say that what? Um, 3, 2, minus 2 all over 7, uh, 1 all over 2, and uh, minus 1 all over 14, and 3 all over 14. That is what we are talking about. It means that can be equals to that. By so doing that, I can now do my normal multiplication, which we all know how to multiply matrix together, which if I should multiply them together, please, if you don't understand how to multiply matrix, kindly, kindly check on the video of multiplication. It means B A inverse can be equals to, um, it will be, uh, what name? Uh, please take note of that. This times this, this times this. It means four. It will be four all over seven plus, which it will be um, this times this. Now it will be uh, okay. It will be minus minus, which will be uh, uh, okay. It will be plus. This does not have minus. This should be plus right from the source. It will be plus um, 1 all over 4. And next one will be minus. Okay, the next one will be minus 2. Okay, now it means, oh, there's no story. This minus we cancel down. It means I'll be having that. And uh, the next one will be um, uh, this. Multiply by this, it means 2 all over 7, which is to be minus and uh, plus this multiplied by this 3 all over 4. Now, the next one will be um, um, 6 minus 6 all over, all over 14, and the other one will be plus. This times this, that will be, um, uh, it will be minus 1 all over 28. And the next, last one will be this multiplied by this. It will be 3 all over 14. 3 all over 14. And uh, it will be minus, this multiplied by this, it will be minus 3 all over 28. That is the matrix. That is what we are talking about. Now, by so doing that, I'll be having uh, something like this. 
um, which it will be equals to 9 all over 14 and um, minus 1 all over 14 and the next one will be uh, that will be that will be minus 13 all over 28 and the next last one will be 3 all over 8 that is the final answer that is the final answer you can see how it is now Okay, now with this remaining time, let me use it to explain uh, the inversion method. Now, when we talk about the method of solving this, okay, now let's talk about inversion method of on two by two inversion. method of two by two matrix. Now, we all know what is called simultaneous equation. I think it's a very common part of mathematics. Like uh, for instance, it can be n plus m y equals to c p x plus Q, Y equals to F. Note that um, X and Y are element of what? A vector, which is a, a vector, which is a, um, a variables, like independent and dependent variable. That's what I mean by vectors. And P, Q, uh, N, M are constant, a constant value which it can be seven, it can be any number you can think of. Now, it means my matrix, the matrix, the matrix form is N, M, P, Q, bracket of what? X, Y equals to C and F. That is the matrix. Now, indirectly, I'm talking about the matrix of, I call this one vector equals to what? Constant. Let me use the word constant K. Let me use a K as a constant. It means my vector, which is what I'm looking for, will be equals to M inverse of K. M inverse of vector. Now, this is how we do on this. It means for me to generate my variable, I'm also to generate my what? My inverse of a given matrix. That is what we are talking about. Now, for example, don't forget that my this is my um, uh, my x vector, which is can be x and y is a direction. Y is a very good example of what? Of a constant value. Now, let's see with the help of, let me show one or two examples uh, that will help us to understand the, the concept of inversion method. Look at this. Now, look at this question. Solve the simultaneous equation S, 5x plus 9y equals to minus 3, 6x plus 2y equals to 2 using matrix format. Now, solution to this problem. Let's see how it will go. It's a very simple one. You will understand it now. Don't forget, I've explained how to generate your what's inverse of a given matrix for you. Now, what you just need to do is that um, I will come from here with what I've explained earlier. 5, 9, 6, 2. Which it will be um, x, y, which is equals to minus 3 and 2. That is my constant. It means this is the matrix, this is the vector, and this is the constant value, which is the number. Now, what you just need to do, don't forget, I've told you that what my vector equals to what? M inverse of constant. M inverse of constant, which I've explained that in before now. Uh, it means I will be talking about x, y, equals to um, 5, 9, 6, 2, bracket of minus 1, minus 3, 2. That is what I'm referring to. 
Now, I will now generate my inverse of this matrix. What is the inverse? The inverse will be inverse of this, um, inverse of this 5 to 9 will be equals to determinant, 1 all over determinant. What is determinant? 10 minus 18. 10, um, that will be 10. Now, determinant will be, uh, I will be talking about um, uh, 10 minus, this is, sorry, this is 6. Oh, sorry about that. I'm talking about 6. It means 10. It will be um, 10 minus 56. 10 minus 56, which is going to be um, 44. It will be equals to minus 44. Which is the cofactor of I mean the adjunct of this it will be two and five minus six minus nine. That is the uh the, 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 the inverse of that given matrix. Now I will now move on by having what x I want to get. I've got my inverse, it means my x y will be equals to one all over forty-four, which is minus will be equals to uh, 2 minus 9 minus 6 and 5 bracket another one which is constant minus 3 and 2 and you see that is what I need to do now since I do that I will now multiply uh, I will multiply this with this to be able to get the good value which I will be if I will be having minus 1 all over 44 bracket of this multiplied by this, which is going to be 2 multiplied by minus 3 plus minus 9 multiplied by 2. And uh, I have minus 6 multiplied by minus 3 plus uh, um, 5 multiplied by 2. That is what I'm talking about. Since I have that, I'll be talking, I'll be having which it will be equals to minus bracket of this is going to be 6 minus 6 and uh, minus 18 minus 6 and minus 18 it will be minus 24 and uh, this one will be plus uh, plus 18 plus 18 and uh, plus 10 which is to be 28 which is to be 28 28 now, it means x, y will be equals to minus 24 all over 44, which is going to be plus because this times this, and um, minus 28 all over 40, I mean, uh, all over 44, 44. Now, what I mean now is that uh, my x will be equals to now, if I should divide, it will be 6 all over 11. My y will be equals to um, minus 7 all over 11. I mean, all over 11, yes. All over 11. That is your value. Now, put the numbers there. You will notice that side A will be equals. You can test for any given, some, uh, any given of the equation to generate, you know, to test. Maybe what you have done is correct or not. That is what about that. You can notice. Let me re-explain again. First, it is the equation. Secondly, I generate the the, 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 the coefficient of each stand, generate the matrix, which is five. Five is standing here, nine, nine is standing here, six, six is standing here, two, and in the variable, which is x and y, x and y, which their vector equals to the constant, what they equals to. Now I make the vector, the constant, I mean the uh, vector, the subject, by having the variable side by, 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 by m, by having m inverse of constants, which is this value. Now, I now represent by what? By this, which I have this and I have this. Now, my m inverse, which is my inverse of my trees, is equal to this, which we have done that earlier. By having that, I have this and I have to multiply, which uh, my C, which is my constant, my inverse, and the determinant. Now, by so doing that, I multiply this by this, which I have this. Now, I have this. 
Now, I now multiply each of them by what? The, the, term, the inverse of the terminant, which I have this. Now, it means this relates to this and this relates to this, which is back to your uh, mapping. That is all about that. Now, before I continue, Okay, before I continue, okay, try this. Let's say, try this. I give you some seconds. I mean, I give you two minutes to try that. Okay, try that. Try that. Okay, let's do it together. It's very simple. Solution. Correction. Let me just give you correction. If at all you do not get it, correction. Look at this. It's very simple. Don't forget, I have this my equals to uh, three, three. 0, 1, inverse, inverse of minus 6, minus. Now, that is what you need to know. This is, I know that, I know that my 3, 3, 0, 1, inverse will be equals to, um, uh, it will be equals to this and uh, that. It will be 1 all over 3 into 1 and zero, uh, 3 minus 0 and that is my uh, my my inverse of that given matrix it means by so doing that x y will be equals to 1 all over 3 bracket of 1 3 minus 3 0 bracket of what is my constant minus 6 minus 3 now by so doing this if i multiply I will be having um, which it will be equals to uh, 6 minus 6 plus 0 and um, uh, 8 yes that will be 8 this times this that will be 18 18 minus 18 minus 13 18 minus 13. Now, it means I'm talking about um, 1 all over 3, which is equal to that. Since I have that, I'll be having my all over 3 bracket of um, minus 6 and minus, uh, where you take away, that'll be minus 12. 12. Now, since I have that, don't forget that I'm talking about that. It means I'll be talking about that. x and y will now be equals to. Mm, minus 6 all over 3 and um, minus 12 all over 3 when I open the brackets which I will be having which also implies um, minus 2 and um, minus 4 minus 2 it means my s equals to minus 2 and my y equals to minus 4 that is what we are talking about it means my answer is b my answer is B. How do I know that what I've done is correct or not? Take any of the variables. 3x plus 0y. Can it be equal to 6? Let's see. What is my x? My 3. That will be 3. Bracket of minus 2 plus 0 equals to 6. 6 is equal to 6. That shows it's correct. And I also move on to this equation. You can say that 3x plus y equals to minus 10. Let's check. What is my... Um, my we have three bracket of minus two plus uh my y is what uh minus four can it be equals to ten minus six minus four equals to ten which is can you see that is how to check whether what you have done is correct or not okay i'll be stopping here don't forget you are home with further solutions academy once again thanks for watching